Okay, so if you click on this video, you probably just found out that Mac can play games or maybe you already knew, but with so many options out there, you got confused about which method work best. Either way, you are in luck for two reasons. First, you found the right videos. I break down own popular way to play games on Mac and show you how to install. Since some of the methods I'm about to show aren't free, I got a small giveaway for you to join, so stay tuned for that part. To play Windows games on your Mac, you can either use something called a translation layers or you can run a full Windows virtual machine. And each method has its own pros and cons, so let's break it down in a way that actually makes sense. Let's start with translation layers, things like whiskey and crossover. So these two work like interpreters. They translate the language that Windows games speak into something your Mac can understand. And a lot of people prefer this method since they are not actually installing Windows. So no rebooting or switching is needed. For example, every time you want to play, just head over to your Steam library inside Crossover or Whiskey and start the game normally. But whiskey and crossover, which one should you try? If you are a tech enthusiast and you are comfortable with manual configuration and tweaking, whiskey might be the one for you. It is totally free, built on top of Y and comply with Apple Game Pouring Toolkit. It actually runs pretty well when it's work. But just so you know, whiskey is no longer being updated. That means if something breaks or macOS update cause compatibility issues, there's no official fix coming. One of the examples is you can run the latest Steam version on Whiskey, even though there's a workaround to run the outdated version, but it will require some manual configuration. That is why I recommend you to try Crossover, which is simply an upgrade version of Whiskey. You get more compatible games and all necessary dependencies are pre-installed during the setup. The user interface and configuration in Crossover are highly intuitive. If you are an advanced user, you have full control to manually configure your bottle. However, for most gamers, you can just stick with the default setting. Crossover will automatically handle the necessary configuration for each game. So Crossover is such a great application. But you know, in order to make and maintain its performance, company needs money. But to be honest, I think their price is pretty affordable and reasonable compared with what they offer. $74 for a lifetime license and including 12 months of support. You can get it even cheaper using my 10% discount code or wait for Boxing Day or Christmas Day when they usually do 20 to 35% off. Even though most games run well on crossover, some titles still won't be playable. Battlefield 4 is one of them. It's required Bunk Buster, an anti-cheat system that doesn't work properly outside of a full window environment. And since crossover, whiskey, and even wine are just translation layers, they can't fully replicate a complete window environment. That is why the next method to play window games is using a virtual machine. So if you've been using Mac for a while, you're probably familiar with Bootcamp, a built-in utility that allows you to install Windows alongside macOS. But since Apple switches to its own chip on recent Macs, the only practical ways to install Windows is through a virtual machine. And the most capable and optimized VM you can get now is Parallels. It supports DirectX 11 and OpenGL 4.1 graphic API, which can accommodate a lot of popular titles like Assassin's Creed, Battlefield 4, or Batman. However, since it is still a virtual machine, we can expect own titles to be playable through it. Same way with crossover and whiskey. So how do you know which method works best for your favorite game? Thankfully, there is a website called Apple Gaming Wiki where tons of games have already been tested by different contributors. So just search your game here and if it show up as perfect or playable under any method, you can give it a try. And if your game is working well on parallels, now is probably the best time to buy it since they offer 35% off. And I know some of you might not afford it, so I arrange a small giveaway. So just comment your answer to this question right here. And after two weeks, I will do the random pick with your username and announce five winners. And each winner will receive one Parallels Pro license for one year, which normally costs $100 for each. So quickly type your answer and let's go to the installation part. To install Whiskey, just head over to the first link in the description and click to download the latest. Double click to unzip the files and open it. 
then click on move to applications and click next to finish the installation. Now we are going to create our first bottle, which is a virtual Windows environment for our games. So just create a name, select Windows version, and on the bottle path, you can either save your game internally or externally. Once you finish, just click to create and your bottle will be ready instantly. The next step will be downloading Steam. So just head over to the browser and search download Steam. And we are going to download the Windows version. Once it's complete, you can double click on that file and it will open with Whiskey. From this step, you can install Steam as usual by going through this process. And as I mentioned earlier, Whiskey is no longer providing updates. So after you complete and run Steam for the first time, it will show this error. And to actually fix this, we need to use the outdated version of Steam. So head over to your menu bar and click on Files and Queue on Bottles. After that, right click on Steam and select Config. And add this argument and hit Run, which is you can find in the description. Steam will automatically update, just let it run until it's complete. Then open Whiskey again and run the second argument. So your Steam should work now, you can log in and download game as usual. Now to download Crossover, head over to the second link in the description. You can either try it out for 14 day trial or buy it using my discount code for 10% off. Once you get the file, just double click to move it to the application folders. And that is pretty much how you can install Crossover to your Mac. Now to install Windows applications, we are going to click on Install. This is where you can find popular applications and most of them are run through Steam. So we are going to install Steam first and it will automatically create the first models. From now on, once you install any Steam games, they will appear here for your quick access. And if you take a look at the right side, this is where you can configure your models. But if you are unsure about any of these options, I recommend leaving everything on autos and default settings so Crossover can optimize them based on the game you are playing. Now to install Parallels, follow the third link in the description. And as usual, you can try it free for 14 days or purchase with 35% off. And if you decide to make a purchase, I would recommend getting the Pro Edition, which is powerful enough to play intensive games. Once you have the files, just double click to start the installation process. Click next to grant permission for parallels and finally click finish. Now the next step is to log in with the credential that you use to log in on the parallel website. After you sign, it will ask for an activation key. Now if you have already purchased it, just enter the key. If you choose the free trial option, click try free for 14 days at the bottom to continue. Now click install and wait for about 15 minutes to complete the installation process. After you successfully install, head over to your browser and download Steam as usual. And since this is a full Windows environment, you can install all the Windows app as well. So go ahead to discover which method works best for your game and don't forget to join my giveaway for the chance to win one of the Parallel Pro license. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them down in the comment below and I'll be sure to help you out. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye.